The culture in Dava is a wonderful platform for you know, being able to showcase Malawian culture. But not just that, it is a wonderful platform be, to be able to foster cultural exchange between people that are coming from different areas or ethnic backgrounds or cultural backgrounds. One of the things that happened was that we brought people from all over the country, from Karonga, Chitipa, Mchinji, Chisi, Zomba, Mwanza, Chikwawa, and you know, they were able to interact with each other, to teach each other uh, new skills, their traditional dances, their practices, their, even their own language. I was born in Malawi, and I was born in Malawi, and I was born in Malawi. I was born in Malawi, and I was born in Malawi, and to Ambiri, to Matigra, the Kaviza Maiko Ena, Kuwala Chikirija Shashmawi. Then, no, Najuna Jan Zeruan Biri, Kuti, and to Aina Kupunzi Sidua, Kukumbutsana, Chikirijan Chen, Shashmawi, which made in Nabuji, Makana Juji Kupida. We had four categories we had theatre, choral music, traditional dances, and fine art. In fine art, there were two subcategories traditional pottery and paintings. We actually went into Malawian uh, oral literature. So we had uh, myths, legends, stories, uh, folk tales, riddles that we borrowed uh, in order to create new artwork. <laughs> One of the things that we also did was we brought in students who a younger generation of young people who actually had never uh, you know, seen these uh, performances or even heard of them, but they were given the platform to participate and to actually uh, you know, uh, gain new skills and to learn. So I do think that the Kata Indaba is a wonderful platform for preserving lesser known Malawian performance traditions and fine arts, but also a platform for transferring skills from a, an older generation to a younger generation but also for archive. The reason why I chose to participate is because I'd like to learn different things about culture because culture is something that is fading. So I'd like to learn about culture and also it was a chance to meet different people. I joined our main festival, main event, and I said, no, and to add to Kumva, Kumasu and to go on, I said, no, I Malawi. Africa. <laughs> If you want to become a good musician and if you want people to appreciate what you are producing, choral music is the hub of all what you can do. Whether you're going to end up playing in a band or doing any kind of genre in music, but uh, if you miss out uh, uh, the choral aspect of it, you might find it a problem to achieve your goals. So choral music is very essential for people to realize what they are supposed to be musically. Parents used to tell folk stories to their children. Uh, a lot of stuff that they were sharing, maybe in the evenings, in days where they had no televisions, uh, they would create stories to entertain their children and to teach them the way to live. And uh, we noted that in doing so, they composed a lot of songs, which were very good and powerful and mean meaningful as well. And that would also uphold the cultural values of our country. We are using the folk tales because uh, obviously if we talk about uh, local music, it's uh, what we hear from the villages, the rhythms that are natural, the rhythms that are original, what we hear from the folk tales. That's why we are taking those folk tales, we can even change it to something else, what we want it to sound to rearrange them, just to take what we need mostly from the folk toys, the rhythms and the melodies. We also felt like it was necessary for us to bring people together from not one area, from, but from various parts of the country, 
and so we reached out to so many people uh, within the country, some of whom have been singing in various choirs, but some who have never even sung before, just for us to try and blend and teach uh, the people to see that in this kind of music, we can, on, uh, we can achieve a lot, not only musically, but also promoting our culture and our values. singing techniques and um, better ways to hold my breath when I sing, how to hit higher notes. I also got to know other people who actually sing in choirs and how they also practice, how they train and um, basically I also learned cultural songs. I learned uh, not only the music part, but I also learned to commit with other people, different people, different cultures. You know, it means that people are speaking uh, a language that you're not really understanding, but you just nod your head. <laughs> we want to see this choral traditional music grow beyond the imaginations of people. You know, we have the power in our hands. It depends on how Malawians are going to embrace this for the coming years. Because if we continue loving things that are not ours and ignore teaching our children what our values and our traditions are, then we cannot manage to do this. But I think if we hold our hands together and if these kinds of, uh, this kind of uh, festivals or, or workshops keep on take, taking place, we should be able to achieve our dream. And in 10 years from now, we should be able to see a lot of people falling in love with choral music, and not only choral that is Western oriented, but choral music that is based on our traditional dances and our, our, our cultural values. It is very, it is very, very, very easy to forget or to overlook you know, our own heritage. Uh, that's why we need uh, to find ways of maintaining or encouraging or reviving uh, uh, the practice of, of traditional or, in, or indigenous support making, or if, if you wish, uh, the, the indigenous supportery. Uh, some of the uh, people that came, uh, that were, were privileged to learn the processes were students. Zira Lu Solo Umba, Mipika, Ya Chikarekare, Comanso Main, and this in Shiduza, Mipika, Nini, Nizosiana Siana, Ina, and Yopigra Mondio, Ina Sungiramo Mazi, Ina Yoti, Yosungiramo Makwal, and this in Azode. Zidi Tandiza, Kudi Tisadaish Kadibishat, Tisibanga, Atio, in the modern world. So they learned from the, uh, from A to Z the making of the pots, okay, and the firing of the pots, and even the the way the clay is processed. No, go to my banga fine it's much modern, modern fine art. Many rubanga. Then all banga interact in Danza to Buddha on it, everybody, you, Galia, Madame, Ungama, Nelabaran, Kabula, Gul, Balen, and the Toda Sizi, Balagogo. I would own it as many old Galia, Mabanga, a Gazipere Goka, wife, a minute the monk, a Gazipere Goka, a Gafuna. I will acquire the good people now. By this woman taught. Uh, the making process from uh, clay processing, making the pots, firing and firing them, which is the the last the last stage. As you see, these pots were made uh, uh, during that uh, process.
of the workshops were that through practice community participants or delegates would be able to learn a theoretical a basic theoretical grounding or understanding of how to make theater how to make choral music the, the, the skills that, that are needed the theoretical grounding of traditional dances as well as fine art skills now these were not taught to people through uh, lessons where somebody who's there as an academic or writing in chalk, whatever, and telling people, uh, giving the people a lecture. No, they're actually learning through these things, doing practice. <laughs> So one of the things that was happening, if you go back to the 1970s and 80s, they were taking the indigenous forms and actually turning them into plays. And I think this is something that has not happened for a long time. And also asking people to make a play out of the blue can be difficult. And one of the things that we were trying to do is to encourage the preservation and promotion of local uh, forms and local performance traditions and bringing these onto the theatrical stage, and even into dance, music and fine art. So we said, okay, we could actually use uh, folk tales and problems and stories to actually bring this uh, into a theatrical space and create a play out of the various forms that we have locally available. <laughs> Dia nusu ini fikir kita masih ada. Bukan aku di pasal aku cikir dia fufu nika. Masa orang katitiku tengku tiku pangka masih waktu. Kusira macam cikir dia. Dia kuli cikir dia tu. Tiku kirim pikir sebab dia dia pasal gol. Masa aku pangka masih sizi sizi mahu. Sizi mahu kasih muzik jadi nama ada. Tiap orang masih. Tiap orang pangka bunuh bunuh mahu fufu di bo mukai kas. Sizi tu sizi mahu kasih di bunuh bunuh. Kalau sizi tu sizi tu. Aku di bunuh kalau dia dia kalau dia tu dia. Muzik tu sizi sizi mahu dia kalau dia. Sizi nak bunuh sizi kalau dia. If we are happy there, but do know, city has won as enthusiasm. The only part evidence which we want to be here, my guy, is a Makolo Atu. The Mubanga, Mubanga, thing about is in my project is that I want to match up with Muzira. Kuti, kodi kacha ya tui. Tuma jidika ni chani kwenye kwenye. Tukutiwa zintu zingabo zili zitatu za kacha ya tui. And at the end of the day, pali ma lessons za mentu kuma pungzila from ma kacha ya tui. From jani, ma ndagi hizi, zilapi hizi, mhano hizi. Pali ma lessons za mentu kuma pungzila, mentu kuma pungzila, mentu kuma pungzila, mentu kuma pungzila, mentu kuma pungzila. Chima kaya jintu zo sangala. Sa uka maona kudi, chintu jaji kalide, chuku, chuku mwela limozi ndiji mtu na jake jodi, Chuku sanga sanga tukuti chuku bangi inteten chini ya sangu chuku na zake. Nde ndugu na ngadi tukuti ndi chini chuku chapa chofu ni gida wambiri. Tukuti tivange zinzu zaji zaji kalibe. Tui kazi zinzu zaji kalibe. Kamilo kambi kani zaji kalibe. Kudzela muzi sudo kifua yuko tukuti antwambi ni zima sanga la soka tewe. Bambo ni maji ba mene ma kala ba newa jingwingi. We basically, as a team, met as a group and shared different folk tales. 
uh, that we knew and folktales that we think you know were exciting. One of the things we were looking for was to find a folktale that's actually performable or theatrical that could be turned into a play because you can't pick everything. You can't pick every proverb, every story, or every uh, legend that you know because some of them may be so difficult to, pre to actually present on stage. Some of them may be impossible. And there are some that are really fantastic and easy to use. One of the things that is wonderful about local forms is their ability. They're so malleable. You can actually turn them and change them into so many ways. In a Munga student, who give and children there and from community, or Amina Jogra, my dear Sena Siana, the Zabuno won't be the way in a for your good business into the good in a Zugundi Punzas into Zambi is over cinema as a Ziwa, and how I knew my dance yaw, I knew Nimbozao, I knew Tanozao, Mandagi, Menama Karamo, and the Wall, because many men I know, many of my Jogra cinema as a Ziwa, all over school and over cinema as a banga. Komano, just because to Kwanga interact with the Jays at Okumana, but no, but Ugambia as in Tusiana Siana, to much of Puzzle as in Tuzuri Stadu, if this was made as it was, or to map with the Sansa of the Abu, then the Zabuino one did it, put it to Magawana, Makaja, and Tusiana Siana. Then <laughs> Makala as much as my daughter, Jamakala me to me to do Labu Dambo, Dambo Sani, me to do Sanciana. The moment I'm not going to paint to be Sanchito, my daughter. My parties and my glue as your free guns. Mago automatic Pusanta, no, Caracarero, what Pusazirapi, Caracarero. The message is in Tawi is we are eager. The reason I can't see on a putty, Pogus and Shiro to me, that he paint you are too. Tizita kuwa forgo kusoma utenga wanta muzija wazita pesija kono kwa jambo la kuvisa chito roti ma utenga acha kono osa katu kumale mbama ukuma nzoto jambo la jambo la kuli moto agazi wana azita kuwa wana ngani ija nzoto jambo la jambo la zibeni aluswa wa akuzichita ehe kusa ati kadi na kuvisa chito roti kando la bula kushoka kama katika kando la zibeni kwa kipaji kwa mlima kuzi. Ufunizi sabo na kuti luso eriro kusina chito zinuzaji ringelewe ili tabi tapa soko. Dipo dironya di danda ni amata mendo kwenye nani chito akoni sana chito jeshi kungu. Kuli ata kutengila nchito ii badali. Ndipo nizakila mtu osanga kuti zisanga kutela bomba. Kumono akateso kukunisa antuena kuli kose kumina kupitako. Kuti naonso akati kuma takuma kukulisa nyumba zao. Kabena maluwa oje ya limo mwose ndiku jambula luso meriri ndiku kuma falisa mwotengo sana siyara kuchokila mchilingile jatu. Eso goro di kone kakuti nilabu ili nchifani na fesi tika pangazimezi tima kakuta mae kwa anza. Kuna kukoswa na kusaya Afrika, kuka kulisa mapenti nzaatu. Ndeba nubo sindetu zitenga so idio, zintunga tizmezi ya tizbida na aza. Kati fusa, tizika auza. So kutu hii hile ni miambi ya kwa afu, ya kwa atu kongko na kumalawu. The idea was that we could take these art forms as the source of material for creating new theatre, new music, new dances, new fine art. Because that's the thing that we need to do to be able to reserve our culture. Our culture is so rich. And so it's got so much potential to be used to create new things. And unfortunately, I think a younger generation, the young generation, we don't know about these things or they know about them, but they don't think that it's possible to actually take inspiration from them to be able to create new art. Nabuela, naida ni banga ni kulanga, baza pusisa, nagure, amadera, amadera lazumbari no, 
kufuna kuti kuzire anzatu ama dira akutari kutari ngati kujivawa kota nkota kuliso haba haku chitiba dosi da kumana kongu ndai nesu ndabwela ngati wama sewe ndi gule wangayu kuti anzatu haku mene kuhu na osu atenge puluso la gule wama sewe apite na chigao cha chmene cho ifeso kitenge po gule wa chigao cha chitiba kuti na feso di kuzire kutonu kutoko za hudi workshop mene ni ya kuzira wa mziku za mbili Kule na odisi di maadzua, kamari kataadzi. Kuna kemango vaka waire siguri, minou, mape mingi, atinari guanyasa, siri maadzua kudu kudu matumidua kama vina guanji. Kuda magina ndanda, ndanda. Amuna kabina akazi, beruota kuzira. Kuyu ama vina akazi, uyu ama vina amuna okaoka, uyu ama vina mopadi giza amuna ndia akazi. Makulia ngada mene nenda kukuzira kwa mpili Ndi ngada masewe ya mene mene nenda kandu kukuzira hapo Kuma aliposi ya nenda mene nenda hapeza kunoko Makulia mene nenda kukuzira hapo Naga kukuzira so nguma ya guanyasa Nda kukuzira hapo nditu nda taguziwa kuna watu guanyasa Ama impa motere, masewe so ama kasu motere Efera kukuzira hapo kuna na kuti Tika pita na feso umadira kwa watu Kukwa shiganda hako, antoka wana kusinti Kwa kazi, aga wana, tuku vina gule wina, amene sali wana Ame ito magina kwa shiganda. Aga wana mwina guanyasa. Aga wana mwina maribe, mabe nengi. Ndekita nfaka wana kusita. Kesu da kukunzi kwa shaka kukunzi. Kukara kitu kwa mwina marayi. Kukumba kutuiko waka imbanga wa sekuru vitu. Nabasi koko vitu. Kukunga maranga ya kukumba kutu kisa karupirile. Kukumba kukumbira chomene. Kukumba kukumba kukumbira nabu. Kukumba kukumbira chomene. Kukumba kukumbira mare yae. Kukumba kukumbira waka. these workshops, uh, the participants were working together with the experts to create various art forms, to teach each other skills and to create hybrid performances and these culminated in the, the various pieces that they showcased on the last day which was the cultural expo. The performance was really nice. The performance was really nice, and uh, you could actually see people's faces and people's reactions. That it really paid off. It was really good, and you, you also had fun. It was not only the part where you just go on stage and stand up and sing, but you also yourself as a musician was also having fun. Gadadi nyamata kuzomba wachikanda, but which we made up with Zambia zombie is only sitting at sitting at sitting at Kuzizi or for. Tenali stagi na tatu mapuzi la zinuzi mozi mozi zamu hizo kwa toa na ulubula kuchipa kuna kuta kumana nda balansa tu ameni ai tu kila madira ena amina tu pozisi sasa maguli na usi ana siana amina tika kala soko zomba kumi tu pozisi sana soko tu pozisi re tu zinuzi kila kodi tikredo ya tu zinuzi tiji manga moto ane kodi tikredo tu tuji ampang kupa angate mapanga mbuyo mano mapuzi la ameni tazaa panga la mapuzi la ameni abinduli re mina atu kule soma luso atu kama sasa luso la inendeka. Kumaso la anzanga ina mimi mna kuna sana kwa nisa kumuera. Tato upuzi la kaka rido gamuzi ndi anthu osiana siana azikabu osiana siana nina nina mguu kuna bwana osiana siana ndewo kala na uli muzi mama banga na uzi mtu la upuzi abu uzi mzambi zidang kuzi mene tato upuzi asubuja kwa badi pa zinhinga zime nzizi. What this has done is 
created a platform for which we can be able to showcase Malawian culture, the diversity of Malawian culture, the beauty of Malawian culture, so that people can have an appreciation of it, but also it creates a platform that we can be able to archive all these cultural practices, all these uh, fine art skills and, and, and talents in, in a way that can be accessible to a younger generation of Malawians. So what I see as the future is that every year we should make this an annual event, that every year we'll be bringing in, uh, uh, at least 200 plus people to participate in the workshop in order to foster cultural exchange, in order to, to foster uh, skills um, uh, transfer, in order to foster new creation of new art forms uh, and, and new art artwork, uh, which is inspired by Malawian culture. <laughs> Mama, who's in a boo? Who's in a boo? Who's in a boo? 